Guys, for all the solutions of this book, visit forthesakeofeducation.com. I've been working hard of putting all the problems into one convenient place for you to be able to do your homework easily. So pay us a visit. All right, guys, let's do this problem that says determine the centroid X bar, Y bar of the shaded area. So centroid is equal to a point denoted by X bar, Y bar. I know these problems can be intimidating, but this is super easy to solve. So let's get at it. X, sorry, that's X bar is equal to the integral of the area of the location of x dA over dA. This is the only formula that you have to memorize. And just remember to replace the x for the y and the c when you're trying to find other dimensions. But it looks intimidating, but it's super easy. So the, the th trick to this is to identify in the graph all the components of the equation, and then simply just solve the integral. So. The first component that I always recommend you to find is dA. dA is the rectangle denoted by the integral. It's not necessarily a rectangle, but for the first couple of problems, it's a rectangle. And it's this rectangle right here. Now this rectangle has a thickness of dy and a length of x. So you know that dA is equal to x times dy. Now when you have a rectangle, you know that the centroid of the rectangle is here. And you know that this is equal to x over 2 because this is x, so this is x over 2, and this is equal to y, and this is x, and this is y. Is it making sense so far? So look at what we did. Find the rectangle, then found x curly, then found y curly, and then we're good. We have everything that we need now. So now all you have to do is plug in everything into the equation, which means that this is the integral from 0 to 1 because this is from 0 to 1 and we're doing the curve going that way of x over 2 because that is what x curly is and now dA which we know is x dy all over the integral again from 0 to 1 and we just replace the a again by x dy so this is equal to we have this equation right here which means that x is equal to y to the one third so all we have to do is replace the x by y to the one third and now we have an integral that we can solve. So we have the integral of 0 to 1 of y to the 2 thirds because x times x, x times x is equal x squared over 2. Then you just replace the x to x to the 1 third and you get x to the 2 thirds over 2 dy all over the integral from 0 to 1 of y over 1 third dy. Now it's just about solving the integral and this is very easy. So the integral of the first would be 3y to the 5 thirds over 10 and this is from 0 to 1 all over the bottom is 3y to the 4 thirds over 4. Then it's easy because you have to plug in 1 for y and then 0. And 1 to any power is still 1. So that is 3 over 10 all over 
3 over 4. Um, this is very simple right now, but it gives you 0.4, and that is for x bar. So now we need to find the other point. So let me do a new page for that. But it's the same idea. Y bar is equal to the integral of the area, y curly, dA, all over dA. And all we got to do is replace the values in the equation for we, what we already know. Just remember that what we found on the last one was that y is equal, y curl is equal to y. That's going to be the only difference. So let's start replacing. Integral from 0 to 1 of y, and then we replace dA by x dy all over x dy again from 0 to 1 but we know that x is equal to y over 1 third from here so we just keep replacing integral from 0 to 1 of y to the 4 thirds dy all over integral from 0 to 1 of y to the 1 third dy now just solve the integral 3y to the 7 thirds over 7 from 0 to 1 over and the bottom is 3y to the 4 thirds over 4 uh, sorry I'm doing this mentally so I'm double checking yeah plus 1 and you multiply by the inverse okay yeah this is right and then this is easy because 120 power is 1 and 0 20 power is 0 so this is 3 over 7 all over 3 over 4 which is equal to 0.571 so y bar is equal to 0.571 and we found on the previous step that x bar is equal to 0.4 so the point is centroid is at 0.4 in the x and 0.571 in the y that will be in the x it will be a little bit less than half and a little bit over half it will be right there so final answer final answer just a little bit of advice on these problems. I know it can be intimidating, but the steps that I will follow oops, are write the equation. It's important to have the drawing next to you so you can write on it. So if you don't have it, draw it. Then find the A. Then, as soon as you do that, you're going to start replacing the values on the equation and you're going to see what else you need. When you find dA, you're going to realize that dy times x is dA, or it depends on other problems, dA might be slightly different, but you got to keep practicing. And then you just start replacing the values on the equation. If you follow the order, you should be fine and it won't be as intimidating. All right, guys, like I said before, Final answer.